Starting off with this look, I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. I'm using the um, corrector here, an orange corrector, the LA Pro Conceal. I'm just using that on some of these, well, not some. You see, I'm going a little crazy with this. <laughs> on all of these hyperpigmentation and acne scars that I have. And then underneath my eyes, I haven't really been getting a lot of sleep lately, so I'm having to cover up those darkened spots there. And then I'm just using a beauty wedge. It's been one of my favorite tools lately. All right, and then once I apply that corrector, I wanna go back and actually set that. Uh, so I'm using the Sasha Cosmetics Loose Tan Powder. And if you, you know, wanting to use a corrector and then set it, you can use a translucent powder, you know, any kind of powder will really do. And then I'm just setting that with a uh, angled Morphe brush. And my favorite foundation, probably ever, <laughs> the NARS All Day Luminous. It goes on underneath that, uh, over the powder as like a second skin. And then the shade that I'm using right now is Mikeo or Mikeiko. And then I am using that same Beauty Wedge. And I'm just kind of going back over that with that. And just patting that all in. All right, and on to brows. I'm just using an eyebrow spoolie and brushing those eyebrow hairs in place. And then I'm using the Max Fight Eyebrow Pencil. And then I'm trying to use short, swift strokes. And then a couple of long ones. <laughs> and the trick to your brows is you really, really want to use that eyebrow spoolie and kind of go back and forth with that. Um, just to any cream or um, that you put down, you want to use that spoolie to go back over it to give it more hair-like strokes. And then I'm using a Lancome concealer here. And then I'm just going to go underneath the brows. And that is pretty much the same shade as that foundation. I'm patting that out. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills 3.5 concealer. And I want to use that right there in the eyebrow arch. And I want to lighten that up a little bit. So I'm not gonna go all the way underneath the brow, um, but I do wanna start like around the arch area and bring that out, and that's gonna be my highlight. And then I'm using the NYX Chocolate Brow Mascara, and that is going to keep those eyebrow hairs in place all day. All right, and then my favorite eye primer is gonna be the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So I'm applying that and then using that same beauty sponge or wedge and then I'm patting that out. All right, and with the eye look, I'm gonna start off with the Cream Brulee and that is from Makeup Geek. And I'm just gonna use a large shadow brush and that's gonna go from the crease right underneath the brow bone. And unfortunately, this part of the clip, I didn't hit record the first time, so I had to go back and refilm it. So a couple of the angles may be a little bit different, sorry about that, um, but I just wanted to make sure I had a full video. And then for the crease area, we're gonna be using the MAC Saddle, and that's going to start right in the outer corner, and then it's gonna go into the crease, and then I'm gonna work my way in. I'm gonna come back and pat that on the outer portion of the eyelid, so it's gonna be like a V on the outer portion of the eyelid, and go into the crease and into the inner corner. All right, and then I'm going to use the MAC Malt and a flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna apply that right to my eyelid. And if you're looking for a very like natural, everyday look, you could probably stop right there. <laughs> but uh, I'm not quite going for that. So I'm gonna go back with the uh, Morphe M4333 brush, I believe that's it and I'm going to use that saddle and I'm going to um, kind of sharpen that up on the outer edges and then I'm going to use a 
small eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go underneath the eye here, or right on the lash line, and smoke that out. All right, I'm gonna use the ColourPop. This is Birthday Boy, and I'm gonna use a that same flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna use the other side, and I'm gonna pat that onto my eyelid. And it goes on okay with the brush, but better with the fingers. So I'm actually going to apply that with my fingers um, just to get a better look. And then I'm going to go back and kind of pat that in a little bit more. But with anything Colourpop, um, pretty much with the shadows, blushes, everything, it goes on really well with your fingers. And then I'm going to use um, a eye bright brightener pencil, and I'm going to use that in my waterline open up the eyes here all right and then I'm going to use this same concealer from earlier the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, 3.5 concealer and I'm going to create little triangles underneath my eyes I'm going to do like a little spike on my forehead and along my nose and I'm thinking it's pretty, pretty kind of self-explanatory just by watching the rest of it so I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys get back to the video all right thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe see you on the next video